so just one sec. All right, so what we've got here was this game I was playing, pitching Matt Scherzer against this guy. As you can see, he's got Babe Ruth up to bat, Willie Mays is on first, and Mickey Mantle is on second. Uh, the score is 2-3, to three, and it's the uh, top of the third inning. There's one out. So I throw this pitch, and he hits a hard-hit line drive to center field. Now, Mickey was going back to second, but he decided to go ahead and send them. Willie, I think, was also going to go back to first, but like I said, he decides to send them. So, the ball goes right into my Willie Mays' glove, and I immediately throw it to second. Now, you can see here, Mickey is out, dead to rights, at second base. Like, that ball is going to get to Trey Turner way before Mickey even gets there. Willie also has to get back to first base, except there's only there's already one out, so there's no way to get a triple play during this. Um, but had there been no outs, this ball would have gone right to Trey, gotten Mickey out, and then he could have tagged Willie right there or thrown it to first base for the third out. Like I said, this is one situation where I wish there were no outs for the other guy. So let me just show you all of this from the ball's perspective. Because this is one hilarious play, I think. Boom. And just like that, the inning's over. I just, I don't know why he sent Mickey and Willie like that. I mean, it just made more sense to have them stay where they are and then go. Then again, he probably wasn't going to get out of this without somebody getting out, even if the ball dropped, just depending on how the throw went and everything. But just another perspective here. He sends them around regardless of Willie catching it, and boom. I just think this is a crazy play, and I wanted to share it. So there we go.